Now, there are still some Democrats committed to staying off the House floor, despite threats made by Governor Abbott. But do you think that'll continue to be an effective strategy? Well, we have to use every strategy available. And sometimes it takes civil disobedience. Sometimes it takes uh, bending the rules uh, that are unfair rules. So my hope is they will not reach quorum because if they do reach quorum, they will rush through this bill just like they rushed through the bill in Georgia and several other states. And so we need them to stay the course, to be steel, steely eyed and protect our rights as we continue to lobby uh, in Congress and with the president for more protections to voting rights. So I'm hopeful that the, the Democrats and others that will join with us uh, in Texas will continue to hold the line. Uh, but we must have uh, legislation passed at the federal level. Well, we're going to get to that in a few minutes, but you retweeted an article highlighting some good news in Georgia. Uh, according to federal election data released this week, the state has surged to become one of the leaders in voter registration with 95% of its citizens over 18 signed up to vote. What are organizations like the NAACP doing to harness this momentum in the broader fight to protect voting rights? Uh, well, you know, for over 100 years, we've always pushed the most powerful weapon that we have, and that's voting. And so we launched a voting uh, re registration program in partnership with Black Voters Matter, in partnership with other groups to make sure that every eligible voter in Georgia is registered. And so now we have over 7.5 million Georgians that are registered. Now we have to turn our attention to 